today. Today I'm going to be showing off another build from my Let's Play series called Minecraft Down Under. And this build is actually going to be my mob farm of doom. So this is a slime powered mob farm. This structure that we are currently looking up up in the sky above my actual main base here that's floating in the sky is a mob farm. It is a slime powered mob farm. I'm going to be showing all the uh, inners and uh, all, all the how it works i'll be showing all that off in this video so guys obviously this was all built in survival if you want to go if you want to see how it's all built from you know scratch um you can go check out my let's play series called minecraft down under season three playlist will be in the description below and other builds as well so you can watch me literally um you know everything around around me just sort of you know, take shape over a over the whole season. So anyway, let's get right into this showcase video. I'm gonna show off this mob farm. So how do you get to this mob farm? You're like, whoa, there's no actual, there doesn't, it's not connected. No, it's actually, it is literally hovering just above my main base here. There's actually an iron farm built in the top of the uh, uh, main base here too as well. So it's all, I get, I get mob drops and I get iron all at once. It's pretty cool. So it's almost a two in one. So it is actually floating here, and we have to take a nether portal, which is up there, to get to it. So let's go ahead, and I'll show you how to get to it. So we've got to go through um, one of the many entrances to my main base here. So we'll come over here, press the button, and I'll take you on all up. Here we go. All right. And it's the second floor we need to get off at, which is this one. And we'll head to the nether, nether portal. We're even closer now. I can show you guys what show you guys what she's looking like. See, there you go. That's what the structure looks like. It's an up. It, it's hard to explain what it's shaped like, but uh, yeah, it's been named a lot of things, a lot of things. So let's go through the nether portal, and we'll just get through this loading bit. And all right, we're through. And then literally turn around, go to this other nether portal. And that will take us up. And we're through. We're on literally the ground floor, the maintenance area. Obviously, you don't come in here too often. You can already hear the splat pads in action. Um, okay. So where to, sh where to start? There's two, two zones to this mob farm. We're going to obviously go up these elevators. They go to the viewing platforms, okay? Um, we'll do that after we see the guts of her. I think, yeah, we'll do that first. Okay, so let's show you, I'll show you the splat pads, and then we'll go up from there. Okay, you can hear all that loot, all that loot going off here, so let's go up to our little first, all right, put, whoa, hey, well, there was a creeper there. But this is, these here are splat pads as we get closer. And there's a couple of flaws in the design already. As you can see, I've got to put glass going up the center here so loot doesn't get caught on the top. That was just one thing I never got around to doing. Uh, oh, he's, he, he survived. He went down. Um, okay, so pretty much how, how the splat pads work, it's pretty much a splat pad. Uh, a minecart literally will travel around and pick up the loot. And then that minecart transfers the well the minecart hopper will transfer those those items down to these hopper lines that go down to a double dispenser and i'll show you all guys where all the loot goes and and all that good stuff soon let's go up to the actual pads i think people people are more interested in well how how does a slime powered farm work so we'll go up to i'm really sorry about the the noise that this is just about to make i do apologize in advance so let's go up to the very first stage here okay so i don't know if you guys can see this or hear me properly but there is a large slime in a minecart going around and around and around it's named so it never despawns uh, it goes around and around and around forever that's right that's his job and what actually happens when a mob spawns, they will get bumped off by the large slime. I call the large slime bobs. But they get bumped off and down they go. And, you know, you can see things going splat already. Uh, it shouldn't be spawning. We're a bit too close for Minecraft to spawn mobs in. Um, okay, so that's how it works. Sometimes they do get caught on the corner. But randomly, they normally walk. They'll choose to walk over and get knocked off eventually. So the corners are a little bit... I should have just knocked out the corners, to be honest, so they can't really get there. Uh, that's another couple of bug fixes I can work on in the future. 
So that's how it works. Now all these large slimes, yep, put in here in survival. Name tagged and put in survival. You have to go check out my Let's Play series. If you want to see that happen. I actually named it after everybody that was in the live stream when I was recording that episode that time. Yep, all the all the large slimes will have different names on them. You can't see them from here, which is a bummer. But as we go up, you'll see the viewing room up there and over there. This viewing room will take you there soon. But I'll go tell you. I'll take you to the top because you know why I'm going to take you to the top because you can actually switch this farm off and on. Yep. I want to switch the farm off, I just press that button. Now we look down. Look at that. All lit up like a Christmas tree. Now, right up the top here, as we look around, there's a lot of torches so nothing spawns up here. This is a maintenance area. You're not really meant to see it, so it's not really pretty, if you know what I mean. You're not really meant to see back here. But I've got four pistons going down the dead center of every single uh, spawning cylinder here. So all of them have light going down the dead center. That obviously turns the farm off. I can do maintenance now. So I can go remove those corner blocks and upgrade her whenever I want. I, I put in an option so I could turn her off and on when I, when I want to. I thought it was a brilliant option to have that. You know, so you could turn a mob farm on and off. Like, see, there's nothing spawning now. We're a bit too close for them to spawn anyway. And you press this button, it all goes dark. Dark enough for mobs to spawn. See, things are going splat and falling down already. All right, so let's take you guys down. Whoa! Take you guys down to the viewing platform now. Okay, let's do it. Oh, flame and glass fell off there. Viewing platform. So a couple of bugs I've got to fix. You've already noticed, as I said, the corners, I reckon, have to go. And these glass cylinders have to go all the top so that loot doesn't go anywhere except on these hot pads, which get sucked up by... Um, the, the minecart hoppers. All those ticks you're hearing is all loot. That's right. Oh, I got a jewel dispenser system, uh, dispensing uh, both on both sides on purpose, so it doesn't ever get jammed up. Because literally, if you stand in the right spot, this thing can gain some speed. She's not the fastest thing in the world, but she's definitely unique. And I love this about unique farms. You know, everybody can build a basic mob farm, but this is a challenge, this mob farm. It's bloody awesome. But yeah, okay, she definitely gets up. She's about a medium, medium, yeah, about a medium speed. I wouldn't call it, you know, really crazy, crazy, but she's definitely about a medium speed. I'll show you a her output in a second. So let's go up one of the one of these sides has an elevator in it. All of them have elevators in it. This takes you up to the viewing platform. Up we go. All right, out we go. Brilliant. Have a look at this. So uh, yeah, she's pretty much nothing really crazy interesting up here. So up here, obviously, you get to view out. You know, you can look around um, the rest of your map here. We are up high as you can see very very high um you can walk around and i've got like um, more glass so you can see out you know it's it's flaming awesome but i made sure that the light levels of of our glass here didn't you know come in contact with the actual farm as you can see look it's dark here just the edge here gets dark and dark enough for mobs to spawn, we're a bit close at the moment for anything to spawn. It'd be cool to show you it in, in uh, you know, action if we can get one of them to spawn. Hey, mobs spawn. I'm, I'm, can I, am I further enough? I don't think I'm... Oh, there we go. Whoa, he fell off. I don't think I'm further enough away. Around about 30 blocks seems to be the, the go, the hot zone of uh, this thing working like a champ. Um, okay, so all, all the way, all around is pretty much the same. Yep, the same. There's nothing really to see up here. It's all decorated. But let's go ahead and head back down. These tubes on the side here, so one's up and one's down. Bubble elevator and non-bubble elevator. Splash. See? Perfect. Okay, so obviously all that loot they come comes down from all the things going splat, splat, splat. They come down the tubes here and they go to two separate sections which get dispensed dispensed underneath us and we're gonna have to do some flying for this so I've got my elytra which is gonna allow us to do this that's a lot of loot coming out of there so go ahead and sort of glide oh I was trying to glide glide down to the bottom here and this is the bottom chute where wow hello you you must have spawned on a random block go away um so pretty much they all the loot comes out the bottom here down into my iron farm yep this is an iron farm that sort of comes down and goes off the side here and in gets caught by a bunch of um 
uh, Hopper's face going down, and I'll show you that section in a minute. I was It's currently getting night time. The farm doesn't seem to do too well when it comes to night time. I was, I was hoping... Oh, there we go. Some mob drops there, flying out the side. I was hoping for more than that. It looks cool when it's, like, raining uh, items down here. Um... Uh, so, we're, yeah, we're too far away probably now. Yeah, I, I reckon we're too far away for it to, to be pumping out lots of items. But there you go. You can see some... Oh, there you go. Some more items there flowing down, getting caught. And look, there's an iron golem too. <laughs> see what I mean? I get all the loot, which is fantastic. So then let's let's go ahead and glide off of here. We're not really meant to be up there. Wow. All right, so we've, we've glided off our mob farm here. It's currently night time, as you can see in my world right now. Um, yep, it's, uh, yeah, very lit up. I need to do more cave exploring at some point. Caves underneath us will definitely be affecting it. And, you know, in the latest versions of Minecraft also will be affecting it. You know, my, mob farms in the sky don't really work anymore. Um, mob farms close to the ground are much faster, if you know what I mean. All right, let's go up now. Back up we go to a maintenance area. So we are currently in a maintenance area. That's right. So you can hear all our villagers up there and our iron golem killer here. Here comes an iron golem now. Yep, yeah, it works really quick. Very quick iron farm. Um, so all our all, all our items actually come down and um, they they come down and through this system over here. So this system obviously does some filtering it well. It filters out the um, um, iron golem loot, that's what it does, but all the loot travels through here, we're probably not going to see any, it would be nice if we see a couple, oh that look, some bones just come out, some, oh, oh some gunpowder too, oh, some, some iron ingots, some more bones, okay, alright, she's, she's on, and uh, that sort of slides out here, we couldn't figure out a way to get the items from upstairs, downstairs, and we had to hide it, so that's why we have this system here, we're using less hoppers, and more water canals. So what actually happens from there? Let's get out of this maintenance area. So you just sort of drop down here. There you go. We're out of the maintenance area. And I think it was this side, was it? Alright, it was this side, I think. No, wrong side. Oh, I'm flaming galah. Um, now i got to find the right side. This is where I need to put some signs saying which side's which. This side? Yes, perfect. Okay, so there you go. You can see the water. The water shoots out the side of the my my Mayan temple base here, and get sucked up by more sla more hoppers underneath the slabs here. You can't really see them. So, yeah, that's how it sort of works its way. It literally winds and weaves down through the temple to get to all the way to the basement. That's where we're going next, to the basement. So I was seeing if I could... Oh, there we go. Some stuff popping out. But, yeah, that gets sucked up nicely. All right. So, yeah, the reason why, you couldn't have a hopper line inside, could you? I could, I could, no way I could hi hide a hopper line. That's why we did what we did. We had to make do, if you know what I mean. So down we go. Down we go to the second floor, which is literally the sugarcane uh, level here and lookouts. So, but from, I think it's from, it's the back of one of these sugarcane farms. These automatic sugarcane farms that we built here. Um, at the back, it's got hoppers. It's hooked into the sugarcane farm. So it literally goes... The sugarcane sort of runs underneath the path here in, in a hopper, hopper line and goes even downstairs even further. I'll show you how. So it's gone into where the sugarcane... So now we're getting we're getting literally mob drops, all mob drops. We're getting iron and we're getting sugarcane all coming down the same tube. <laughs> that all comes down um, to this corner here. Here you go. Look at this. I was, I'm going to put slabs on it eventually. A little bit of carpet to hide it, but there you go. So, items. Oh, there's items coming now. Items get dispensed upstairs and slowly drop down. Now, the reason why I have that web there is um, in my Let's Play series, we discovered that um, the dispenser was actually dispensing it half in, in, like, you know, the walls and stuff. So, items were getting stuck. So we, we noticed every time we noticed every time we put uh, go, made it go through a web, it's directionally straight down without any glitches or whatever. See, there's more coming down now. Iron's coming down like no no tomorrow, but we're closer to the iron farm than the mob farm. So that there is currently running, and that gets collected by my hoppers here. But as you can see, look, there would have been no 
anywhere else in the room to run any hopper lines before you say, Data, why don't you just run a hopper line from upstairs, downstairs? The walls are only one thick, as you can see. We put decorations on it. So I would have to hide them, you know, make, I would have had to thicken up the walls, which was a no-go for me. So having this sit, this, this situation, and then we found a solution to it, you know, dropping items down, falling down, that was, it just worked perfectly. So that obviously now goes down into an actual hopper line, um, gets caught, and obviously these are the two levels of storage um, for other items. We've got a place called the vault, where a lot of items go, so it's sort of, uh, the hoppers go, you know, in the wall, and then down even further. And I will welcome you to the vault. Down here is where I have a lot of a lot of bulk items stored. Obviously, um, my iron reserves. When I say I have iron reserves, I have tens of thousands of iron reserved up. That, as I said, that iron farm works like a bat out of hell. Actually, the indicator lights here are tell it's telling me that it's literally eighty percent full um, of of this storage here. And all the all the items get gets automatically sorted. Yep. So all the iron ends up here. Oh, jeez, where did you come from? A couple of dark patches I must have laying around. All right. And you've got another one in here. Um, I, I recently drained it out to. Ah, oh, there we go. So it's lots and lots and lots of rotten flesh, mostly full here, as you can see. Then on this side, I've got gunpowder, which I've been using. So it's slowly draining down into the front, but tons and tons and absolutely metric but tons of gunpowder. I've even got um, ender pearls. Yep, ender pearls for endermen dying up there. They all come down here, and I've got tens of thousands of like most things. So at this point of time, I'm kind of uh, you know quite rich of uh, uh, mob drops. You know, I think it's, it, it works absolutely brilliantly. And one, uh, this one is bones. Yep, see bones, bones out the yazoo. <laughs> but geez, yeah. So that's that's there is my uh, slime powered mob farm and and uh, slash iron farm and how that's how it all works. Now, guys, um, obviously from here, I, I, from here underneath the floor here, I've got uh, other um, items sucking out the rotten flesh because I trade or I use a villager trading ship to trade for all my rotten flesh, which is an in another showcase video. You might have to check the link in the description below to see all that in action. It's an entirely different video all together guys so description tons of videos for everyone to watch all right okay so let's go ahead and get the flame and glow out of here guys thanks for watching this showcase video on my uh my slime powered mob farm don't forget if you did enjoy this video make sure you smash those button leave a like um share with your friends if you think this would this world this is all looking cool share with your friends throw it on your facebook or whatever you, you know favorite social media it would be much appreciated and make sure you're subscribed because season four of minecraft down under is coming soon all right guys i'll catch you all later